Hello everyone, we are members of the ERA 404 group. Below is our group member name list and matrix number. Today, we will explain the problem solving and conflict management skills in group communication. Colleagues in the workplaces. Workplace conflict is crucial in the life of an organization since it has a significant impact on both organizations and individuals. The distinction between relational conflict and task conflict is important because they have different outcomes. The principle among colleagues should not be to avoid differences, but to resolve differences effectively and get along with each other happy to complete the work. Problem identification issues of colleagues in the workplace. Dissension of idea. In the workplace, people inevitably need to work with different people to complete some projects or tasks. However, everyone is a different individual and each has a different thought. However, once there are different or relative opinions between colleagues or with superiors, disagreement arises between them. Most of the members hope that their ideas can be recognized by the group, so they will argue with each other and subconsciously think that their ideas are more suitable, personality-based and behavior issues. This implies that different colleagues have distinct personalities and temperaments, so the most important job in the workplace is to collaborate and interact with a diverse group of individuals to maintain harmony in the workplace. However, when colleagues with contrary personalities and tempers are assigned to the same team or need to complete certain projects together, conflicts arise between them. Authority abuse or high demanding from top management. Due to the position and management level in the organization, most superiors are given authority. However, some superiors abuse their powers to their subordinates for personal reasons or certain purposes. Employees can only remain silent and just follow them because they are worried that speaking out will affect their future careers. In addition, excessively high demands are often accompanied by factors of abuse of power. Poor communication in the workplace. In the same organization, there are many people from different backgrounds and even different national cultures. In the case of language barriers and differences in communication styles, it will lead to poor communication that causes conflicts between colleagues. Moreover, poor communication results from a lack of understanding and a reluctance to express the truth. Unhealthy competition between colleagues in the workplace. In the workplace, healthy competition requires mutual understanding, while unhealthy competition only requires hostility. Nevertheless, several organizations create a more competitive atmosphere among employees to maximize economic benefits. However, this has led to vicious competition among colleagues who violated professional ethics to attain higher commissions and bonuses. In addition to the internal fighting culture and management negligence of the organization itself, excessive self-demanding, low team awareness, and the desire to win other colleagues. Analysis. After reading the article, we could see that perceived organizational support has caused workplace friction in our society. This is because employees who perceive strong amounts of care from their organization experience lower levels of interpersonal friction and lower levels of workplace conflict. The employees will form a certain overall feeling about their organization, and this feeling will influence their perception and then affect the relationship between people in the company. Workplace conflict is inevitable since the personnel are from varied backgrounds and varied work habits to link along for the same corporate goal. This degree of run support and non-care of the organization that employees feel or realize may lead to negative thinking among colleagues, which could lead to conflicts in the workplace. However, workplace disagreements are not always the result of perceived organizational support. This is because human beings have wisdom and people can clearly distinguish the difference between the company's attitude towards them and the workplace competition among co-workers. If the employees themselves have sufficient experience and mature ideas, even if the organization lacks support and care for them, it will not affect the workers' relationships and will not lead to workplace disputes. The strategies such as avoiding, accommodating, compromising, collaborating and competing could be applied by all the co-workers including supervisors to decrease the number of workplace conflicts. Application of strategies. Accommodating. People that engage in an accommodating style of conflict, such as CEOs, have a strong need for recognition and support from others. When a discriminating emerges, the accommodating individual is more prepared to adopt a widely attractive attitude. Rather than addressing the matter directly, these people may frequently use expressions of remorse or, on the other hand, humor or unusually communicate their longings. Avoiding. Individuals that use an avoidance strategy are unconcerned with their desires, and it is common to find them consciously avoiding situations that might lead to confrontation. These individuals lack self-assurance, are unable to accept assistance from others, and are unprepared to take a firm stance on contentious matters. Compromising. Attempting to perceive as a common belief 
that generally satisfy both parties as part of a compromised refereeing system. This strategy teaches people that in most conflict situations, each side cannot be entirely satisfied. The meetings understand that there are moments when one must be willing to set one's wants aside in favor of what is referred to as a shared outlook. Collaborating. People appear to be equally concerned about the needs of others as they are about their own in this method, but they are not active to give up their positions to hardly meet the needs of others. When people have the same approach to refereeing, they frequently have creative ideas. When groups need to maintain working together after a disagreement has occurred, a cooperative peace promotion approach should be used to keep them collaborating in good faith. Competing. When dealing with this type of strategy, discontent, inflammation, or controversy may be used, and adverse groups may be fully abolished from the situation through the use of power. When competing techniques are used, the conflict may be reduced for a short time, but no final objective is ever established. Decision-making, conflict of colleagues in the workplace. Accommodating, selection of the most effective alternative through the voting session. When confronted with divergent viewpoints, a voting meeting is the most effective approach for selecting the most effective alternative. Problems can be solved more effectively this way, and avoidable disagreements and frictions can be avoided, which benefits the firm and the connection between people at work. Avoiding, be aware and deal with allegations and concerns. If there are some disagreements or challenges in interpersonal communication, the individual can first figure out what's causing the problem and then deal with accusations and doubts so that direct interpersonal connections with colleagues run more smoothly and friction is reduced. Compromising, negotiate and give feedback to reach common goals. Individuals can choose to negotiate and share or provide opinions appropriately and analyze the central setting of opinions to convince others when disagreements arise in the workplace, whether it is a colleague at a higher level or an ordinary employee, but if they fail, individuals should try to accept and compromise other people's opinions and plans to reduce misunderstandings and stalemates between colleagues. Collaborating, listen actively and be open-minded. Colleagues can try to communicate and talk, actively listen, be open-minded to accept any opinions, and then discuss and evaluate a realistic and targeted plan or idea together, regardless of the differences between the other party's opinions and the individual's comprehension of the plan. Competing, alter the approach of competing. The greatest method to solve unhealthy workplace rivalry is to change the way people compete. Increasing team communication makes competition more peaceful than individual competitiveness because collaboration can moderate personal desires. While individual competition, competition between groups and other groups will allow every employee to participate in the opportunity to demonstrate and share their ideas and expertise, ensuring that the entire team is energized to face and solve problems. In short, understanding the organizational antecedents of uncivilized workplaces is critical since it is easier to adapt and take measures based on the organizational environment rather than personal traits. However, not all organizational aspects are modifiable. Changing the nature of work or the real workplace setting may present intriguing but realistically impossible options for reducing workplace conflict.